little building science for you today and it's one of those things that can be easily overlooked but I think it's highly important and that's how your vented soffit works with your attic ventilation and insulation stops kind of all works together this scenario is just a hair different than most I'm doing an EFIS stucco system on my garage to give me an extra R10 value and then it stops any thermal bridging and basically all it is is I'll bond some two inch foam to the exterior of my garage and then we'll do acrylic stucco over that so that's it in a nutshell so that's why this will make sense to you as we move along okay I'll put my foam on first then I'll have this soffit going like like a so right something like that then I'll have roof vents on my roof now in grade one or two you learn that heat rises so as the heat as the sun bakes your shingles or your roof material that makes your creates uh your attic gets really hot right so in order to cool that down and also prolong the life of your shingles and make it so your house isn't so hot as the hot air rises through your roof fence it actually draws fresh air in through your soffits okay so that's kind of one step now this is my insulation stop now if you look carefully there's cardboard in above this now I just use this because when I do my foam here I don't have cardboard that can flex outward and allow my blown in attic insulation to fall into my soft right and plug it off so that's just there I had some leftover material this is the cardboard I'll show you it on the inside when we're done now if you look there's a one inch hair gap so what that does is I'll fill my in, my attic up with insulation it can't fall out into the soffit but also they can blow it in as high as possible and I used a high heel truss on this garage so that I can get as maximum amount of insulation on top of my wall so so that part is there that air gap allows the air to draw in through the soffits up along the bottom of the sheeting and out through the top okay this also by doing the 12 inch heel or a higher heel more insulation on top of your wall then you won't get ice standing and ice standing is caused from back in the day when they framed you'd have just a little four inch heel maybe a little six inch heel so you're, you're you have hardly any insulation on top of your wall and as heat rises it just it mostly will come out of this corner it's got the least r value and then it'll just heat the snow on your roof and then it'll freeze thaw turn to ice and just um basically it can penetrate through your shingles that's why they ask you to use like a ice and water protector on the eaves of your house or garage or whatever you're building right so there's a a lot of things working all together just for this one little component but it's very important because it uses the nature's physics to draw that air through your soffit cool your attic cool your shingles prolong the life and then the stops maintain the insulation from blowing around all that sort of thing so it's I kind of like it it's important you can easily overlook it but don't you know do it properly and we'll shoot you to the inside and we'll show you how we did it on the inside too so you can see how we did the cardboard stops now you want them as far out as possible to give you maximum insulation but not too far where insulation can fall out into your soffit and then these are nice big 44 inch long stops they go up nice and high those those long stops are ideal because then you can get like an r50 r60 blown in and still have lots of coverage right because it's pretty much like 20 to 24 inches deep depending on how you go the other thing that those will stop is if you're in a windy area you want those nice and high because wind can get up in your attic and whip the blown in insulation around and create hollows or that type of thing so you just got to be a little cautious for that as well um yeah well, i've seen it before too where it just blows a big hollow out of your insulation so and yeah if you just look straight up you can see the roof fence i have six roof fence on my garage so yeah nature will do its thing it'll hot air rises draws in new fresh air and that's it for now 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or check us out on some of the following.